everybody, welcome back to Solon High School. Frank Stams along with Dave Bacon as the Solon Comets improved to 6-0 and on the season by beating previously unbeaten Mayfield, and the Comets very impressive. Very impressive. They did it off the uh, backs of their dynamic duo, uh, Jake Voigt and Kyle Hammonds, and they did it effectively both throwing the ball and running the ball, and it was just a little bit too much firepower for the Mayfield Wildcats. Let's take a look at the highlights, and Solon got to it very quickly. Jake Voigt rolling out, throws deep into the end zone, and Trey Barksdale grabs it 7-0. Comets with the lead. Comets then put a 40-yard field goal on the board by Kevin Hicks to make it 10-0. And then Kevin Hicks comes up with an interception. He takes it deep into Mayfield territory. A personal foul takes it even deeper into Mayfield territory. And another Kevin Hicks field goal made it 13-0. Solon Comets at the half. Mayfield gets things going. A great catch by Anthony Flowers on the Lee Longo pass. A fingertip grab. He goes all the way for the touchdown to make it 13-7. But Solon, now they go to Kyle Hammonds and take a look. Hammonds just too quick. He gets the corner. He gets the touchdown. Mayfield comes right back. Lee Longo, they set up the screen to Tim Wetzel. And Wetzel, a nice cutback. And Wetzel then dives into the end zone to put it back to a touchdown game. But here's Kyle Hammonds on a screenplay. Loses a shoe, doesn't matter. Barefoot, stocking foot, he still outruns the defense. 74 yards for the touchdown, and that one pushed it to 27-13. Lee Longo hit as he throws, Chuck Zavrella, a nice catch into the end zone. The point after was no good, so it was still a seven point game. And with it a seven point game, the Comets defense comes up with two big sacks to end the threat Mayfield had as they were out near midfield. 27-20, the Solon Comets stay unbeaten as they beat the Mayfield Wildcats. Yeah, and this game really to me was one in the first half. Sol Solon came up with a number of big plays in the first half, and Mayfield really had a deficit that they couldn't overcome in the second half. Even though they traded touchdowns in the second half, I think the game was won by Solon in the first half. And again, 6-0 and on the year now for Solon, 5-1 and for Mayfield. For Frank Stamps, I'm Dave Bacon. want to remind you, we'll be back on STO next Friday night, 11 o'clock. Check out STOHD.com to find out where we will be. We'll see you again next week on the Notre Dame College High School Football Game of the Week here on Sports Time Ohio.